Welcome to VanFluence. In this series, I'll share a beginner's perspective on how to plan for and execute on an adventure vehicle project. I'm no expert, but I can certainly share what I've learned to this point to help anyone just starting out to give their project some wheels to move, literally and figuratively. While I can't guide you in the actual build, I can certainly try to help you think of how to get to that point, and all before you start spending. So get your notebook out and follow along with this easy series. What's the difference between a submarine and an adventure vehicle? Some might consider both one and the same. After all, they're both vessels for travel and exploration. But for the purposes of this video, the answer will be the importance of air. While we're not concerned about oxygen supply or storage on an adventure vehicle, consideration definitely has to be given to the quality and comfort of the air inside. The original purpose of the cargo or storage area vans did not necessarily consider the habitability of the space, especially in regards to things like airflow, comfort, and temperature. With vans in particular, different levels of accommodations are available for things like air vents or windows. With buses, this is slightly different, with the main purpose being to transport people and thus having things like AC units and floor heaters installed by default. But if we're starting fresh on a conversion with no previous elements installed, we have to consider the combined topics of heating, air conditioning, and ventilation. The latter is obviously the most important because lack of adequate ventilation brings us toward the oxygen issue of the submarine. Fresh air or the ability to circulate air is a bare minimum necessity in a small space that will be used to eat, sleep, and live in. Heating and air conditioning is an extension of this. Our adventures will take us to places that vary in temperature, and our ability to enjoy staying in those environments at various times throughout the year is important. Whether it's the stifling heat of the summer or the frigid chill of the winter, you'll likely want the air in your space to be comfortable regardless of the situation. And while insulation relates directly to this, we're going to focus on the air itself for this video. A standard for this topic is considered the vent fan. This is typically a 12 volt fan that's installed on the roof of your vehicle. It has inward capability to bring fresh air in as well as outward capability to force out stale air from your vehicle. Some folks utilize multiple fans to keep air circulating. The most popular option is the max air fan, but there are many options that will accomplish the same results. By default, most popular vans have windows in the sliding entry door as well as the rear doors. But while they help for illumination, they do little for ventilation. Buses, of course, have the opposite issue with an excess of windows. But while this improves the ventilation issues, it does not quite solve them. You'll first want to consider the size of your vehicle. If you have an extended model or a full-size bus, you'll want to consider more than one fan to cover the various areas of your space. Other considerations regarding fans would be the features of the fan itself. Reversible flow is typically standard, as is the 12 volt power consumption, but things like automated rain detection or remote controls are not. Depending on your budget, you might want to consider how convenient or necessary these features are when shopping for a vent fan. But what about temperature regulation? This is where we discuss heating and air conditioning. While vent fans are often able to address cooling down a space, a blazing sun and raised summer temperatures generally call for some support. This is where considering an air conditioning unit becomes important. Next to something like a refrigerator, an AC unit will likely be the next most significant appliance that you plan for. The main things to consider are how your needs match your budget, the space, and the power consumption. There's no formula to determine how to evaluate these things, but here are suggestions to think about. If you have a smaller space and have already budgeted for fans, consider the need for AC as it will occupy significant real estate on either the roof or the back panel. Considering price, in shopping for these units, you'll find that the price brackets can significantly change with the wide assortment of units that are typically geared toward the RV community. If price or space is not an issue, then the last and a very important consideration is power consumption. Most AC units will have a significant draw on your power. Depending on how often you'll need maximum cooling, make sure that your power setup is equipped to handle the power needs of the AC unit on top of the other devices or appliances that share the power connection. For heat, a popular option is to focus on insulating the vehicle appropriately. If you've experienced tent camping on cooler nights, then in general just being in an enclosed vehicle is sufficient. If you're traveling in the winter or in colder climates, then typical choice is a diesel-powered heater. This is an inexpensive option that generally takes up little space and runs on fuel. But is it the right choice for you? 
Unlike an AC or fan unit, a diesel heater is usually placed in a special housing on or near the floor. Despite the convenience of certain furniture options to house your unit, valuable storage space going to an appliance is something worth considering. Meanwhile, air conditioning and vent units are generally unobtrusive in their ceiling or wall placement. But what about combination units? The popularity of van conversion has spurred the creation of a number of new products to address all the issues mentioned. One such product is the EcoFlow Wave 2. EcoFlow has a family of products that work together in your adventure or camping setup. While their flagship products are power sources, the EcoWave 2 is a newer entry that aims to solve your heating and cooling problems. A unit like the EcoWave 2 is a versatile and space-saving device that can effectively operate as two appliances in one. User reviews have verified that it can indeed heat up a space within minutes as well as cool one down in almost as short a time. The brilliant design of this particular unit is its ability to work directly with multiple power sources such as AC, solar, and even its own attachable backup battery. Other options include split units or even traditional window units. Just keep in mind that while you might be saving money initially, you'll likely be using the unit in a way not initially intended or for a space that doesn't quite match the original specifications. Then there's the challenge of working it into the design and installing it, which is typically less straightforward than ceiling mounted units. However you decide to proceed, make sure that it's in line with your design plans and your individual needs. While planning out your layout, it may not be practical for certain types of units, or perhaps given your geographical location, you may not require certain features. Evaluate all the scenarios before deciding because as mentioned, this appliance is a significant investment, not just in cost, but in space occupied and power utilization. Higher end air conditioning models or those intended for traditional camper RVs have better performance, but the power consumption would certainly tax your energy setup. This is where planning your build carefully comes into play. If you already know your power limitations, then you can purchase the right unit that fits the plan. In the end, you might opt to save all your money and fall back on windows for the hotter days and blankets for the cooler nights. In the spirit of adventure, it's important to remember the minimalism of camping and the degree to which you'll sacrifice creature comforts. But on the other hand, bringing comfort out into the wild unknown is part of the van lifer's mode of operation. So stay cool while hunting for hot deals on these units.